There are many factors that make buying an electric car today a less intelligent choice for most consumers. One of the most significant disadvantages of electric cars in 2024 is the insufficient charging infrastructure in many countries, including those with large automotive markets. While the number of charging stations is growing, the expansion is slow, and there's a considerable disparity in the distribution of these stations. If you live in a major city, you might find several charging stations in convenient locations, but in more rural areas or remote regions, charging stations are scarce. This lack of infrastructure can severely limit long-distance travel and pose a major inconvenience for drivers who don't have access to a home charger. Even if you have a charger at home, the time required to fully charge the vehicle can be prohibitive, especially compared to simply refueling a gasoline or diesel car, which takes just a few minutes. Although electric cars have made considerable progress in terms of range, most still cannot compete with gasoline-powered vehicles. Many electric models offer a range between 200 and 500 kilometers, depending on driving conditions and vehicle settings. However, this range can drop significantly under adverse conditions, such as during winter or when the air conditioning or heater is in heavy use. Moreover, government incentives, which often help subsidize the purchase of electric cars, are being reduced or eliminated in some countries. This means that without these subsidies, electric cars become even less financially appealing, especially when considering the costs of maintenance, insurance, and the replacement of expensive components like batteries. Replacing an electric car battery can be extremely costly, with prices ranging from a few thousand to tens of thousands of dollars, depending on the model and battery capacity. For many owners, this maintenance cost can outweigh any fuel savings they may have gained by opting for an electric vehicle. Additionally, the availability of replacement batteries and the ability to recycle them efficiently are still unresolved issues. Lastly, there's uncertainty about government policies that incentivize the use of electric cars. In many countries, subsidies for purchasing electric vehicles and building charging infrastructure are heavily dependent on political will. Changes in government or policy can significantly affect the incentives offered and the economic viability of electric cars. Insufficient infrastructure, high initial costs, battery degradation, environmental challenges in production and recycling, and uncertainties about policy and technology make purchasing an electric car today a decision that requires careful consideration. For many consumers, it may be wiser to wait for further advancements in technology and infrastructure before making the leap to electric vehicles. What do you think? Drop your comments below, hit the like button if you enjoyed this, and don't forget to subscribe for more updates on the world of automobiles. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.